And hello, it's time for Sunday House Call. I'm Eric Shaw. And I'm Arthel Neville. Welcome to everyone. And joining us is Dr. David Samadi, Chairman and Professor of Urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and Chief of Robotic Surgery. And Dr. Mark Siegel, Professor of Medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center. He's also the author of The Inner Pulse. Unlike in the secret code of sickness and health, which you can still get out there at Barnes and Noble and uh, Amazon if you want to dial it up. Yeah, Thank you. Right? Check it out. Absolutely. Okay. Good to see you both. Nice to see you. you. So we Thank start you. here. A new study finds that omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil may help heart attack patients recover by improving heart function and reducing scarring in the heart muscle. Dr. Samadhi, you're up on this because I take fish oil, you take, mm -hmm. Eric takes yeah. fish oil, uh, I, I eat salmon all the time Good. for that very reason. But is there a downside to taking too much fish oil and what is it? I don't just talk to start well, here. We've, we've spoken about omega-3 fatty acid for forever and we, everyone knows that on microscopic level what it does it's for healthy cell membrane. Our bodies consist of billions of cell membranes. They need to communicate and what, that's what omega-3 fatty acid does to keep your cells healthy. On macroscopic level we know that it can reduce inflammation, arthritis, it's great for your heart, it can increase your good cholesterol, HDL, that's why our thought you are taking it. It can reduce your triglyceride, good for brain, great for Alzheimer, and study after study talks about the benefit of omega-3 fatty acid. Today, what we're talking about is for people that already have had a heart attack. This is about 360 patients who have had heart attacks. They put them on high dose of omega-3 fatty acid. This is not the vitamins that you're taking at home, so listen up. High dose of omega-3 acid, for six months they follow them. Some took it and some took placebo, and what they found was that if you're on high dose of omega-3 fatty acid, it can increase your cardiac function, your heart function, after you've had heart attack by 6%. And it can reduce scarring of your heart by 5.6%. Well, what's what's Why, a high dose? I mean, is it, can you get a high dose if you go to the drugstore? Not yet, but let okay. me just, uh, about four grams. You, you guys and myself, yeah. we're taking about one gram, which is much lower. Mm -hmm. And now, you would say, for example, what's a big deal about 6% improvement on your cardiac function? It's a huge deal. And it's the first time we see that something like omega-3 fatty acid can help in remodeling of your heart. We never knew that. It makes a big difference whether you can go up the stairs or like not being fatigued yeah. and pumping that heart and improving your heart function is a big deal. This particular study talks about a very high dose purified omega-3 fatty acid which is not available yet. It's FDA approved. They use it in this, but, but we'll, well Mark, see what, what happens you, what in humans. What if you start downing a lot of, you know, four times the amount when you go to the drugstore. What, do you get like 1,000 caplets, 10,000? Yes, what should you do? Well, first of all, you're not going to do that, and I'm not going to tell anybody to do that. I want people out there to know what it is. We're talking about omega-3 fatty acids, which you can't, the body doesn't make, Eric. You have to take it in from external sources. And you know what? The American diet has 10 times the amount of omega-6 fatty acids. We need both but we need a lot more omega-3s than we're getting. What is it? It's a polyunsaturated fatty acid. It's found in plants, it's found in nuts, it's found in fish, as Arthel was saying, it's found in fatty fish like salmon, halibut, tuna, mackerel. mackerel. Really good for you, this stuff. The question now is, though, do you need it in supplements as well? Are we getting enough in the fish we eat? Because we say to pregnant women, watch out, have two servings of fish a week, according to the American Heart Association, but not more because of all the mercury you get with fish. So can we take them as supplements? All three of you take supplements a day. I take them as well. The goal is to decrease inflammation in the body because studies show that, and this study also showed it, decreased the amount of inflammation. It decreases your tendency to form clots. It improves blood flow to your coronary arteries. It decreases your risk of has, having an arrhythmia where, where your heart beats irregularly. And it helps you think more clearly. Great stuff. That's before this study came out. Now, what does this study add? This study is a prospective trial like David and I like, where they literally followed 360 people over six months who had had a heart attack. And they found the actual heart muscle improved after they gave a high dose of this supplement. So even four if, you grams. Haven't, if you haven't had a heart attack, you're saying we all should take this? Well, but I wouldn't take four grams. But my take-home message here is if you haven't had a heart attack, consider taking this if you don't have a risk of bleeding, because that's the big downside. If you have a risk of bleeding, you should check with your doctor. I wouldn't tell any Anybody to take four grams out there because this was specifically for the group that had already sure, had sure. heart attacks. How much attack. should you take when well, you go to the uh, restaurant? You know, it's very interesting because take? American Heart Association talks about taking about three grams 
if you're really at okay. high risk right, of, right. if you have high triglyceride, you have a family history of heart, cardiac disease, if you have coronary artery disease, you should talk to your cardiologist and they go up to three grams. The truth is that a lot of times if you take that much, there could be side effects and we've seen like some what? studies. Like for example, increase the risk of prostate cancer we've seen in men. Absolutely. That's why we don't want them oh, wow. to take too much dose because there could be other side effects. You may have bleeding. I mean, uh, you know, there are people that are on Coumadin, they're on aspirin, they're on blood thinning medications, they may have bleeding. But also, if you're ever planning to go for any kind of surgery, always stop your vitamins, especially uh, your yeah. omega-3 fatty acid and fish oil, right. two weeks before because you don't want to have any kind okay. of complications. Right. That's, That's a good point. Go. We got to go. Let's Basically, to bottom go. line. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, but we're currently recommending one gram. David just said in certain cases, higher risk, more than one gram. Also, Talk to your doctor. You can also too. take two to three servings of a fish, which is almost yeah. as good. So, so supplements not are not much. always the answer, yeah. but talk to your doctor and see, okay. you know, individual basis. Wait, I like right. it. Do gummy fish count? Yes. No. <laughs> they don't have gummy fish oil yet. No, yeah, Swedish yeah. fish is not the same, Eric. I know. By the way, Lavazza is what candy. they studied. Lavazza is, 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 the, is the product of fish oil that they studied. Lavazza is the product. That's a prescription okay. type of fish oil. Okay. Right. You can go get fish oil. That, that was what was studied. Get it in the drugstore. All right. Get it in the drugstore yes. and talk to your doctor about it.